What's up everyone? I hope you are excited for a new video today about the thing that I love to do, which is skateboarding. I've made like 1500 videos about it and I definitely Hi there, uh, sorry about Big John here. He, uh, he's a little burnt out. He's made like 1500 videos about skateboarding. Um, he's, he's split into four parts. I'm another, I'm another version of him, I'm Art John. Hi, uh, if I could have my way, I'd be sitting at cafes all day drawing and writing books and stuff like that. Cause I'm artsy, uh, but he is attention seeking John. You might've thought of him as Skate John. Now he's just obsessed with like views and numbers and that's why he gets burst, burnt out so easily. But you know what, we appreciate it because he's the one who makes the money for us. Um, but for now, we're gonna try to take off a little bit of the weight for him. I'm gonna make some videos. Maybe some other Johns will pop up. There's one that hopefully will remain dormant forever. It's kind of a vicious, savage John that none of us really like, but um, that's that's a story for another day. Uh, let's, let's make an art video. Samsung. Most people who do YouTube for a living have periods of time where their channel is growing and periods of time where their channel is dying. And the truth is, I don't know which one is healthier. About two years ago, I started drawing a lot, like five to seven hours a day. I became obsessed with the idea that I could become great in an industry that I've never even considered. Might as well try to start off this video with a piece of advice that helped me and I think applies to some of you. Uh, you can take it or leave it or eat it, whatever. Uh, you don't know what you love until you try it, so why not try everything? Maybe that seems obvious, but I wasn't aware of that. And one day, my channel picked back up. Uh, if it isn't obvious, I'm a skateboarder, have been for 20 years, it's something I'm good at, and something I've built this channel around, uh, and something I won't make content about forever. Uh, when my channel picked back up, and I knew I'd have a surge of views for the next year or so, I put everything back into skateboarding, and art took a back seat. And unfortunately, this is a cycle that's hard to fight. In a perfect world, I'd probably stop making content about skateboarding, and spend all my time drawing, writing stories, making books, and building a career and portfolio around being an artist. Again, this is Art John so that's that's just what I you know crave what's strange is in that short time of drawing heavily I worked with Samsung and no of course this video isn't sponsored by Samsung look at the title uh, in my life I've always felt I've had to put you know more work than most people around me to get the same outcome don't know why I just felt that way uh, because of my crippling you know self-doubt stemmed from abandonment issues Anyways, but what's weird is how could Samsung look at my art and not know that I had literally just started drawing four months prior because art is, John don't say it, subjective. And also, huge spoiler, a lot of artists and illustrators who have careers don't draw every day. Whoa, it's like any art, even in skateboarding, the most popular skaters aren't the best skateboarders, they're the most relatable and marketable and with millions of styles of drawings that exist. How can anyone expect us to know what's good or bad? We just go off with our gut feeling and I think that's perfectly okay. So they went with their gut feeling that I could draw. It's, it's their fault really. But I also had 300,000 followers on Instagram. So when I started posting my art, they went to my Instagram and just thought that I was an artist, but I was a skateboarder who had accumulated a following through the skateboarding, now I was posting art. So if they had scrolled back just a little bit further, they would have been like, wait, this dude had not been doing this long time. So I spent a day with Samsung. We filmed bits about some new phone and how you could just pull it out your pocket and start drawing on it. Uh, we filmed for a few hours and hot damn, they were in a hurry, uh, which I'm good with. So they actually liked me, except after we filmed for about an hour and a half and switched locations, uh, they noticed I was wearing an Apple Watch. Uh, any rapport I built with Samsung was immediately destroyed, but here's the kicker. They didn't even know I was a YouTuber. So when I did the talking bits about the phone, I could see how impressed they were like, wow, you're a natural. No, I've been talking to a camera professionally for like four years. It went well and it paid well, but I don't think I fooled the other artists. <laughs> like, like one dude was super not into me. He could smell that I was fake. And I skated for 15 years before I made a dime and I don't mind getting paid a little earlier than I should as an artist. Ironically, after that, I started drawing murals a bit and um, should I actually mention this? Right, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I Okay, I drew on a 
piece of wood at a Samsung store at 4 a.m. Okay, they had all the wood up on the windows. Um, and while I was there, security walked up to me, uh, which was terrifying. I'm, I'm not doing the story justice by not telling you how unsettling that actually was. Uh, and he said, do you have permission to be here? I said, sure do. I'm on contract with Samsung uh, to do five murals. I have to paint them early and use this projection to kind of, you know, show the drawing so that I can paint over it. Uh, plus they don't want me working when customers are coming in and out. Like I just came up with that on the spot. And uh, the dude fully believed me and just walked away and I kept drawing. And this is like 4 a.m. And, and you know, this is like the, uh, the perks of having over a thousand encounters with securities and cops as a skateboarder. Just easy to think on your feet when it comes to, you know, people who are law enforcement. So where does that leave us today? Well, I wanna draw more. I've made over 1500 videos about skateboarding as I mentioned earlier. Uh, they're on the internet for anyone who wants to go back and watch, but I'm interested in different things. I know the day ones watching are always pushing for me to just do what I love and I appreciate that so much, uh, but I'm also a working boy. I've been working since I was like eight and I will continue to do the job that I have. You know, I'm gonna keep uploading three videos a week. Uh, the content will inevitably cover subjects with you know, within art, anime, food, Korean culture, who knows? But it's just, it's just what I'm doing. So if I'm in, if I'm doing it, I'll make videos about it. I'll make skate content, of course. And you know, with videos, you'll win, you'll lose publicly. <laughs> But I've always shown up to work on time and I do my part, but hopefully this will be the start of a transition into a new field uh, This is basically just an update video. I'm gonna go back to drawing now. I think uh, as well I was one of the only skateboarders for the longest time making the kind of skate videos I made on YouTube But now there are a good grip of skateboarders vlogging their days coming up with silly ideas uh, So I feel really confident that the people who want skateboarding can get it. Thanks for being here. Take care progress daily and keep killing it